Hi everyone, welcome to Straight from the Divine Tarot. I'm gonna do a um, collective read for you guys now, okay? Um, the date's not important. I mean, we're going into Friday, June 3rd, 2022, if you must know, right? Just for, um, for the sake of knowing, but it's really a timeless read. So, so whenever you feel drawn towards this message, uh, please like, share, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell for me, will you? Uh, I greatly appreciate that. I'm trying to reach a wider audience, and I need your help to do that. And I'd, I'd really be grateful if you did do that. Um, I'm going to go through the spiel real quick, okay? I don't use gender, and I don't use the signs, because we all embody that, those energies throughout our lifetime, depending on the situation. It doesn't matter what gender you identify as, and it certainly doesn't remember... Uh, and it certainly does not matter what signs are in your chart. Sorry, the brain fart, Mercury retrograde. So uh, it doesn't matter the signs, okay? It's just the energy that we uh, we portray at any given moment. Case in point, you could be a fire sign needing to speak your truth, set boundaries, and cut people out of your life. So the card that's going to represent you, doesn't matter, male or female, it's going to be the Queen of Swords in the upright because that's in tarot, that's what the Queen of Swords in the upright represents. Setting boundaries, speaking your truth, cutting people out. I don't want you to miss your message. I don't want you to be confused. So I streamlined it as best as I can. So if this reading is for you, you're going to know right away based on the descriptions and the story. Okay? You'll recognize it right away. Um, if I use the he and she pronoun, it's because it's on the cards and it helps to keep it straight in my head. So take what, take what applies and toss the rest. Don't try to make it fit. And just always remember it's a general read. If you like a personal read... If you want more details and stuff, then uh, go to my description page and uh, you'll find my email address there because I am doing private reads only for a short period of time. Okay, so hit me up through my email, all right? Um, use your higher uh, wisdom and discernment. Not every read's going to be for you, okay? So we're ready to go. Before we start, I got a download and I was really confused with the last, not the last, but the the latest reads I've done. I've done quite a few and only posted uh, very little because they were very discombobulated all over the place. But the what it was, was somebody got arrested, right? Somebody did want somebody to leave their, their marriage, their relationship and got really, um, you know, kind of down and dirty and had somebody arrested uh, on false charges, I suppose, to, to get them to stay around, right? I don't know. But uh, the other story that came out, and it had something to do with children, so that really confounded me, really confused me. And then um, it turned around that I did a read just prior to starting this one, where it was a parent, I'm not sure male or female, was drugging a child or children with drugs and or alcohol, and the worst happened, okay? So somebody's in a lot of trouble. Don't know if it's happened or it's happening now or it will happen because, you know, it, it's timeless. Time doesn't really exist in the world of spirit. So if you suspect your spouse or your partner of, you know, giving your children something, please be extra vigilant, okay? Don't leave them alone with the children. Get out as fast as you can. It's just a warning I felt compelled to have to tell you, okay? Um... Yeah, just stay safe out there. So we have prison waif. <laughs> wow, can't make this stuff up. Self-sabotage, poverty consciousness, number 31. So three and one is four. Four in the upright is the emperor in, the, in tarot. So somebody's got to make a decision here. It could be a father that needs to make this decision. Okay. Uh, prison waif sounds like somebody could potentially be going to prison. Let's get some clarity on that, shall we? Spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors, the white light, white prison white here, card number 31. Clarify that, please. Thank you. Date, meeting someone new, dating, getting back out there, plan, set a date. So maybe somebody wanted to leave their partner because they wanted to, you know, see what's out there. They were uh, no longer passionate in a relationship. This partner was going to lose money, stability, maybe they weren't working. And they did the, the most to try to get them to stay or try to punish them in, in you know, the most foulest way. Um, take what uh, resonates, okay? The other thing is I'm going to be bringing out cards 
I'm going to be giving you descriptions of each and every card. You, uh, based on your story, you know, you and you alone know your story. Take what applies, okay? It could be all the descriptions, could be some, and it could be one. All right, and then we bring it together at the end, okay? Spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors, the white light. Why is prison wave here? Oops, drop the card. This is family. The Ten of Pentacles fell to family and or stability and security. Prison wave, card number 31 and date. Why are they both here, please? What is the message here for the collective, please? What would you like them to know? Prison wave and date. Why is this here? What is the message, please? Thank you. Okay, so we have, there's a parting of ways, two of cups in reverse, okay? There's trust issues here. They don't see eye to eye, not on the same page, don't get along here, okay? Bottom of the deck, knight of cups. Somebody um, was insincere, possibly, sleeping around into casual hookups. I don't know. Yeah, third party, there's a third party situation, maybe. Three cups in the upright. The parting of ways, two cups in reverse. Why is this here, please? The other thing is, is um, these children might not might not be the father's children. So, um, the, the the mother they're dealing with isn't sincere, and she does play around. She plays a lot of mind games, right? Um, so that's that's why the the reads were so discombobulated. So much to this one story, it was just unbelievable, right? Two cups, two cups in reverse. She's being found out, though. Oops. Okay, okay. Cards are everywhere. Somebody's flipping out, okay? Um, tower. Oof, big reveal. Um, this is the universe coming in to shake stuff up here, okay? Something had, someone had false, a false sense of security, um, giving false impressions here, Okay. Um, the tower comes in when you know in your life you're not you're in a situation you have to grow you have to move forward in life we all do but if you're not doing that and you're you're in a place where you you can no longer be spirit wants you to move forward with your life and you're refusing to do that that's when they bring the tower in right it's very uncomfortable sometimes it's nasty it's shocking but uh, it's not to tear you down and hurt you. It's to, so you can, you know, see the falseness of it, okay? The, it's just, it's, it's false. It's to tear it down, tear, tear it all down so you can rebuild new, you know? Tower in the upright. Why is this here for the collective, please? I'm sorry, I'm tired, so I'm going to be tripping over my words even more. Never mind, Mercury retrograde. <laughs> okay, the sun, there's clarity about a situation here. There's truth. Looks like she's ready to fall off that cliff, right? Jeez. Bottom of the deck. The truth about a king of pentacles, about stability, security. Mm. This is having the finer things in life because the king of pentacles is a hard worker. He makes a lot of money. He or she. I mean, it's not gender specific, but... They, have, they can afford it, right? They work hard for it. So maybe somebody's gotten used to that way of life and there's a parting of ways. And it's a shock for somebody because they're not going to have that life anymore. Sun in the upright. Why is this here, please? Yeah, there's conflict here. Five of ones in the upright. Competition, conflict, fighting, drama. Could have pulled up. Typically, you'll see five people on the card, but um, you could have pulled a whole whack of people into this argument, into this drama. Double in reverse, bottom of the deck. Somebody's seeing through the illusions and breaking free from this toxic relationship, right? Because maybe it was a gold digger, right? Only there for the money, for stability, for the bling bling. Or maybe the partner that's leaving just wants a new opportunity or they have one already. I don't know. Five of wands in the upright. Why is this here, please? Very conflicted. There's, there's clarity about something. Five of wands in the upright. Thank you. Queen of Cups in reverse. She's good. She's not a nice person, this energy. She or he. Okay, there's competition. Been sleeping around maybe with their friend group. Queen of Wands in reverse. This is an energy that's very superficial, very selfish. 
Um, they manipulate emotionally. They blackmail emotionally. Um, they're not well balanced emotionally, okay? They can't keep their emotions in check. You try saying no to this en energy and you find out real quick what they're all, all about. Uh, they don't care who they hurt, okay? They're self-absorbed. Um, scattered emotions, right? They use emotions to get their way. They start crying at a drop of a hat, you know? Or if you go to a mall and they want something you refuse to buy it for them, they'll start screaming in the middle of the mall and embarrass you until you do do it. Nine of Swords, there's worry here. Nine of Swords in the upright. Somebody's not sleeping, not eating, overthinking, um, really going through it mentally. You could be haunted by something. I don't know. Queen of Cups in reverse. Could be a bad mother, okay? That's a mother, a mother card, right? Can symbolize a bad mother. Lazy and, you know, not loving, not caring, not compassionate or giving. As a mother normally is, nurturing, right? King of Wands in reverse. Player attitude, uh, male or female. Uh, very uh, arrogant, conceited, uh, very egotistical, confrontational. They bit off more than they can chew, right? They're a coward secretly, down deep. Yeah. There's an injustice that was committed bottom of the deck, okay? A crime, an imbalance, something wasn't fair. King of Wands in reverse. Or maybe the King of Wands is none of those things. Maybe he is feeling scared, not very cowardly. But maybe he's feeling scared knowing what this one's all about. I don't know. We'll see where this goes. He bit off more than he can chew with this one, okay? Yeah, there's heartbreak for the King of Wands in reverse. Three swords in the upright. Regrets and heartbreak. Right? Because there's love here. King of Cups in the upright. He's masking his emotions. I say he because it's on the card, but this person's masking their emotions. You see, I never noticed that about this card. See the veins within the arm and his side? Maybe they're doing drugs. That's just an aside. It doesn't have to be for all of you. There's bruises. What looks like bruises on his neck, too. She, she might be... Physically abusive, okay? It could, it could be a burn mark, I don't know. Or maybe, I don't know, take it as it applies. But this also is a father card, okay? So, yeah, heartbroken as a father. Or maybe this is the one energy, very arrogant, conceited, and, you know. And then the, the, the father's heartbroken. It's breaking the father's heart. Yeah, Queen of Wands. Somebody's pissed, right? Queen of Wands in reverse is energy. This energy always likes to be the center of attention, promiscuous, uh, forceful. Like I said, we saw the bruises, right? Uh, they use force to get their way. I don't know. It could be very promiscuous. It could be sleeping around um, instead of going to work. You know what I mean? Eight of Pentacles. Or they're working somebody. They're trying to achieve something. Why is the Queen of Wands in reverse here for the collective, please? I just, okay, I'm going to tell you what I just heard in my head. See how this Queen of Wands has got, like, what looks like angel wings dressed in white. Well, she's no angel, put it that way. But she's trying to pass herself off as an earth angel. <clears throat> she could be doing black magic, by the way. Spell work, okay? Definitely jealous. Very selfish. Forceful energy. Was the Queen of Wands in reverse here, please? Clarify the Queen of Wands in reverse for the collective. Thank you. The moon. Yeah, black magic. Doing spell work here. S doing stuff in the dark, okay? There's a lot of secrecy, lies, illusions here. Mm. Teamwork, three of wands in the upright, plotting and planning. Kind of look at the skull in her hand, right? Doesn't look like it's a good pl person. Plotting and planning to scapegoat somebody. A, a ten of cups in reverse. She's not happy. Her br family's breaking up. <laughs> She's plotting and planning. What I tell you, right? It's crazy. Grieving. There's parting of ways here. She's scared that they're going to part ways. Five of Cups is grieving and regretting here. Crying over spilt milk. Five of Cups, right? Yeah. 
she wants to reconcile with somebody or there's kids involved. Um, or maybe their, their spouse wants to reconcile with someone else. I don't know. Let's just take it as it applies, right? Five of Cups in the upright. Why is this here? So somebody's grieving and regretting here. They're scared. Or maybe it's the, the father figure that's scared of her and he's grieving and regretting. Take it as applies. Three of Cups. Okay, so there's been egregious gossip. Parting of ways. Not happy. Overdoing the partying. Maybe losing friends. Could be all those descriptions. Could be some. Could be one, like I said, right? Disrespectful, right? Three of Wands. Three of Wands. There are third parties involved here. Three of Wands reverse. Somebody's not willing to let go of something or someone, okay? Um, they're, they're not prepared. They're non-committal, possibly. Unable to move forward. They're holding them back here, I think. Three of Cups in reverse. Parting ways. Not prepared for that. Five of Swords in reverse. <clears throat> this is maybe... Um, Somebody wanting to put this behind them. They're disgraced and embarrassed about the situation. Could be threatening to hurt him with a knife too in the past or now. I don't know. Kind of looks like a dangerous person they're dealing with. Five of Swords in reverse. Could be holding a grudge against somebody. Starting a war. An all out war. This is not getting their way. Because I told you, like this energy, the Queen of Cups in reverse. You say no to that energy. Watch what happens. Okay. Not a nice person. Four of Wands. Yeah, they're losing their their relationship, their home, business. Take it as it applies. Their stability. Some sort of foundation. Right? They don't want to... This person's not going to have that, right? The party's over. Five of Swords in reverse. Why is this here? Please for the collective. Let's bring this together for the collective, please. Sorry. Five of Swords in the reverse for the collective. Bring it together, please, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels, Ancestors of the White Light. Thank you. King of Cups is in reverse now. Mm. Could be he's not the father, <laughs> like we talked about in the beginning. We just found out he's not the father, right? This is embarrassing. Um, this is somebody that's can't control their emotions at the moment. They're all over the place. Could be drinking right now, trying to numb things. Um, I think that's what it is because sometimes it's, uh, somebody that's very self, self absorbed, yeah, emo emotionally manipulative, emotionally unavailable. But I, but in this story, I'm getting the feeling that he's, he is having a hard time controlling his, um, his emotions. He knows he's got to take some sort of action here. Ace of Wands in the upright. Cause he's dealing with a karmic, somebody in devil energy. Okay. Somebody's got some power over him through spell work. Take it as it applies. Why is King of Cups in reverse? King of Cups in reverse, please. Let's bring this together, please. Yep. Yeah. He's losing his emotions because she had him arrested, like we said, right? Hangman in reverse. Punishment card. This is a treason card, right? I think he's just getting ready now to make a, a sacrifice. He's going to make a sacrifice. He's letting go and letting God. Not a cops, right? Somebody's, um, this is a heartfelt offer of support. What the hell? No, that's what she does, right? She gives her love, couple love out for money. She's a, she's a con artist. Or maybe she's accused him of being a con artist, right? Let's take it as it applies. Got him arrested for that. I don't know. Or maybe he's had to lock her up because she's unstable, right? It's, it's out of love. What he's doing is out of love. He's lo having her locked up uh, for mental illness. It's out of love, right? It's heartfelt. Why is the hangman in reverse? Let's bring this together, please. Yeah, didn't know what to do, right? Uh, needing some clarity, two of pentacles. Could be financially overwhelmed as well. Something's unstable. That's what it is. It's nothing to do with finances. She's unstable. Obviously, right? Um, she's an unstable mother. Um, she could be pregnant. 
Oh my God. She gets pregnant as a form of stability. Security for money. Or she could have said she was pregnant. I don't know. This, this, whomever he's dealing with is really out there. I'm telling you, they, they do the most. Two of Pentacles in reverse. Two of Pentacles in reverse. Thank you. Let's bring this together, please. Yeah, she, she needs healing. Or he's taking some time out to cont contemplate. Or if she had, yeah, she needs healing. That's what it is. She could be a pathological liar, user, abuser, cold, calculated, cruel. She could be violent. Could be a narcissist, sociopath, or worse, a psychopath, right? <sighs> yeah. She's holding something back. She's selfish. She's greedy. Very possessive, right? Or he's trying to protect himself and his children. I don't know. Somebody's taking some time out to think, to heal. And this narcissist, I mean, if you're dealing with a narcissist and you leave them, it's going to take a long time, a lot of self-love and healing to to heal from all their mind fuckery, okay? This is serious stuff when you're dealing with a narcissist, okay? They should be, honestly, they're, I'm not going to say it, it should be a crime, okay? King of Swords in reverse, there's so many of them walking around nowadays. King of Swords in the reverse. Eight of Cups. They're trying to keep them from leaving. Okay. For now, I think they're staying. But they're not very happy. They're stuck. They feel stuck. Two of Wands in reverse. Mm, stuck in this marriage. Hierophant. I'm just going to take it from off the uh, the bottom of the deck or wind this down here. Three of Wands. Um, unable to move forward. Unable to let go. Um, I don't know why. Not prepared, maybe. He wants his freedom. Nine of Pentacles in the upright. Wants his freedom. But because she's a liar, she's vindictive, jealous, right? Spiteful vengeful very hateful type of person they're dealing with she wreaks havoc everywhere they go or, or over the littlest things right she's locked up right now eight of swords i think either it's in prison or in a hospital for lying for causing all this uh bullshit i guess right yeah somebody feels foolish they took a risk Feeling foolish here. Uh, there could be an investigation. Page of Swords in the upright. It could be some delayed communication from a distance. Or it could be somebody spying on someone online. Waiting for some results. Yep, an investigation. Waiting for some results. Seven of Pentacles in the upright. She probably harmed herself and said he did it. Take it as it applies. Knight of Pentacles, yeah, is waiting a long time, but this could have been a, like a long-term relationship, right? Um, he's trying to do the noble thing. He's trying to act with integrity, right? Trying to do the right thing. Knight of Wands in reverse. He's <sighs> holding back from, holding back from what I don't know. Page of Pe Pentacles, um, holding back. She's trying to hold back or holding her back from the children. Trying to hold back from losing the children. L loss of a child. Page of Pentacles in reverse. Right? Hmm. Somebody's lazy. They don't put the work in. They're very disrespectful. So obviously they're not tending to, you know, their children, right? Or maybe the children have turned out lazy and disrespectful. Six of Pentacles, unbalanced, something's unstable here. Lack of money, um, or maybe this is her. For a long time, somebody had a huge ego, uh, confrontational, in your face, think they don't, their shit doesn't stink. Uh, fed people 
wrong information, um, making people believe that somebody left them all on their own here, unstable without money, okay? Scapegoating somebody, okay? Somebody broke up their family, no emotional fulfillment or happiness. Eight of Wands, um, something stopped suddenly, maybe the money. Communication, I don't know, this is bad news here. Somebody has no integrity, loyalty, or honesty, or they're scared, right? Um, loss of control, they're scared. Because there was a manipulation or spell work here. Maybe they're threatening. This could be threats. Threatening spell work, manipulation, lies, deceit, feeling powerless. Because somebody's jealous. Somebody's codependent and clingy. Um, greedy and selfish. Materialistic. They could be very promiscuous as well. There's trust issues. They want to let them go. Four of Pentacles in reverse. They're seizing an opportunity for four if that uh, resonates with you. This could be for you and or it's just an indication that the angels are there. They're working with you, okay? Seizing an opportunity here. Yeah. This is not wish fulfillment. Somebody's got addictions. They're smug. They're full of themselves and selfish, right? So, so this is fall from grace, right? Yeah. They want a new beginning here. Ace of Pentacles, they're going to make an offer, right, so they can leave. They're strategizing here. They're trying to find a way to make so they can leave, right, and end this, put, them, put this behind them. I'm going to leave it there, okay? It's already 26 minutes. Wow, I mean, the story is unbelievable. And, but it keeps coming up, and that's why I felt like, okay, I have to open up with what I know so far, what Spirit's telling me, the prison wave. Self-sabotage, poverty consciousness. So this person sabotaged themselves by hurting their, their spouse, by hurting their children themselves because they're so afraid of being on their own. They're codependent. Uh, they don't want to work, right? Where's their money going to... They, they got used to a certain way of life, right? Um, somebody, maybe the other spouse, right, that wants to leave, met somebody new. They want to get back out there, right? Maybe that's somebody that you met recently and you're wondering if they're interested and they haven't made a move on you yet or asked you out yet. Maybe that's why, because they're still dealing with this first, right? Spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors. Right, right. How would you like to end this reading, please, for the collective? How would you like to? Okay. Serendipity in reverse, card number 18. So that is the moon in reverse in tarot. That means the truths are coming out. Um, facing fears, right? Oh, the Sorry, I am tired tonight. I had to take a pain pill as well, so I'm a little sluggish. 18 in reverse. Um, it's only in the, it's in the reverse, so I'm only going to read the protection message for you. Let's have a look at this card, though. It's at the photo. I love the artwork. Somebody's getting lucky. There's fortune here. Or it could be a fortune, um, a gold digger, right? Fortune hunter, cloud chaser that they're de dealing with. You know, the shamrock's uh, lucky, right? Fortune. Let's see. Uh, perhaps you felt almost certain that serendipitous events were meant to lead to something better. It was supposed to be the perfect business or that person you gave your heart to was supposed to be the one, quote unquote. Yet it all fell apart. Consider this, sometimes synchronicity and serendipity come together to lead you directly into difficulties in order to deliver an important lesson you need to learn before you hit the jackpot. Don't get caught up in the drama of disappointment. There really is a silver lining in this cloud. Spirit always knows what you need and is guiding you to where you are meant to go. Pay attention to the signs presented to you. So there is a silver lining. There always is, okay? Um... Do what's right for you, for your for your children, okay? I wish you great healing and lots of life, sending you lots of love and healing, okay? I think you need it right now, but you have to concentrate on you and on your kids, okay? So all the best to you. Until next, and if you like the, the video, please, please, please like, 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 and share, subscribe, okay? I would really greatly appreciate that. Until next time, take care.